binababoy ninyo ang aming bansa. Ito ang naging komento ni Senador De La Rosa sa panayam ng Sunshine Radio hinggil sa napaulat na may nag-ooperate pa rin na illegal na Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators o POGO na hindi alam ng Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation o PAGCOR. Ayon kay Senador Bato De La Rosa, grabe ang ginawa ng mga taong ito. Merong trafficking, meron pang kidnap for ransom. Isa pang krimen na mangyayari dito, tapos na ang usapan. Dapat lumayas na kayo dito, huwag na kayong mag-business dito sa aming bansa at nakakaloko na kayo. Hindi na maganda. Binababo ninyo ang aming bansa pag anon ang ginagawa. Kumikita na nga kayo dito at nanggugulo pa kayo. So dapat umalis kayo kung ganoon ang ugali ninyo. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa akin channel, please do subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aking video. Hindi naman nila lahat ni Senador Bato de la Rosa ang mga pogo operation sa bansa dahil iilan lang aniya ang illegal. Sa naging privilege speech ni Senator Grace Po, sinabi nito na may isang Chinese Filipina na nag-apply sa isang kumpanya ng pogo subalit ibinenta naman siya sa kabilang kumpanya. Nang gustong umalis ng Chinese Filipina sa pinapasukang kumpanya, ay siningil ito ng 250k pesos dahil ito umano ang halaga niya ng ibenta ng unang kumpanya. Kaugnay nito, pinayuhan ni Senador De La Rosa ang PAGCOR bilang regulator na maging malakas laban sa mga illegal na pogo operation. You should hawakan nyo sila sa leeg. Andito kayo sa amin. We are PAGCOR. We are the ones regulating you. Uh, kung ayaw yung sumunod sa batas namin then sorry tapos sa tayo wala na usapan ganun yung gawin ninyo uh, it's, it's about time na we have to assert our supremacy over them tanongin ko na sana yung pagkor kung hindi ba kayo pwedeng uh, magkaroon ng summit sa lahat ng mga legal legal pogo operators at sabihan, bigyan nyo ng final warning. Kasi ang ganda na ng takbo, after nung hearing natin, sabi ng PNP, zero. Wala na nangyari talaga na crime, pro-related crimes. Then, lumapas lang itong na-privilege piece na yung po. Then, ito, na nagulantang na naman tayo. Pero other than that, yun lang. Yun lang muna ang na-recorded, di ba? Ipatawag nyo lahat sila. Magkaroon kayo ng summit. Bigyan niya ultimatum, pag mayroon pa siya, kasi alam ko, itong dalawang kumpanya na involved, yung, yung nag-hire na first, at saka yung binintahan, we are all uh, registered. Alam ko yung uh, registered ito na pag leg legitimate ito. Then, kausapin niyo sila na it's a compliment. It's a compliment mangyayari. Huwag uh, nang so, uh, uh, everyone. So, huwag kayo matakot. Hindi naman sa mga Pilipino eh. Mga padayuhan ito. Rabihin sabihan nyo, you are here in our country. You should respect us. Huwag nyo baboyin yung aming bansa. Lalo lalo na pagdating sa public order. You should hawakan nyo sila sa leeg. Andito kayo sa amin. We are PAGCOR. We are the ones regulating you. Kung ayaw yung sumunod sa batas namin, then... Sorry, tapos na tayo. Wala na usapan. Ganun yung gawin ninyo. It's about time na we have to assert our supremacy over them. Kung hindi natin kaya yung supremacy nila sa West Philippines, we are supreme here dito sa ating cooperations. Nandito sila sa ating bansa. Nandito sila sa ating teritoryo. Di ba? I-assert natin yung ating supremacy over them. Isa na lang, pag magkakaroon pa ng isang krimen dyan, po sa kayo, we'll hang everyone. Ah, all companies, we'll hang all companies, isang pogo. Parang ganun ba? Kaya niyong gawin yan? Sino pa presidente na pagkor na yun? Uh, good, good morning, ah? sir. Good morning, chairman. Good morning, chairman. Sino presidente? Go ahead uh, to any of the pagkor uh, representatives. Good morning to our senator from San Juan. 
Uh, sir, uh, upon the assumption of our new chairman, Mr. Alejandro H. Tenko, uh, he summoned all the operators and warned them that anyone who got involved or gets involved in any illegal activity will have his or her license revoked, charged, and deported to wherever they came from. Very good. Very good. After we had no privilege business in the Rico Expo, or before that? Before, Papa. Oh, before, before pa. Pa. Oh, So, the oh. long company na yun? Yes, sir. Palip, kaya sinin yun? Yes. You, you coordinate with the, the coordinate ba sa inyong Pasay Police para makuha niyo yung dalawang kumpanya na yun para layasin na niyo yun dito. You don't have business uh, here in our country. Ganon yung ugali ninyo. Sama ng ugali ninyo. Ha? Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just for the record, uh, Attorney Consolation, who, who, who are the two uh, Pogo companies that... Uh, that was uh, that were embroiled in this in this uh, crime. Uh, may, may, may I refer to just you for the earlier. record because we're in this topic already, and we want to uh, see uh, ano bang action na ginawa na ng pag ng pagcor, no? First of all, is who are that these two licensees or these two pogo operators, uh, and then what are the actions uh, conducted by pagcor? Are these are they still operating? Despite uh, the news reports and despite already establishing that we're, they are embroiled in kidnapping, Mr. Chairman, may I refer to to Attorney yes. Jessa? Go ahead. He's the new head of our OGLD Offshore Gaming Licenses Department. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Chair. So actually, we have yet to receive coordination with regard to the specific event. However, based on news reports that we have here, uh, the company that um, was found to be in that building was already imposed penalties at the time that we received the report. But uh, rest assured that the specific uh, kidnap for ransom uh, case that was mentioned by Senator Bato will be uh, dealt with more severely once we get the information uh, within the day, Mr. Chair. How, how severe, ma'am? How severe kaya? Um, it is possible for us to suspend or cancel the accreditation and the license of these licensees or service providers. And deportation. Okay. Yes, deportation. and the deportation, deportation or the filing of the appropriate cases to these foreign nationals involved in these. Pero kung may kidnap or ransom case sila, hindi pa po sila pwede deport, di ba? Yes, sir. Uh, it's tinap na yun siya, Mr. Chair, na mahinto yung operation nila kasi nakakulong man ngayon yung tatlo. Tatlong Chinese, nakakulong man. And uh, sana, tutulungan rin yung kaming makumbinsi yung victim. Sabi niyo, kasi sabi lang, hindi lang PMP na mamaloob sa amin. Ipagkor na na mamaloob sa amin na makasuhan ng kinapuran sa mga, mga Chinese nito. Ayaw na, ayaw na rin yung, yung, yung mahirap, nahirapan ng PMP mag-cooperate sa uh, na, 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 maghingi ng cooperation from the victims. Uh, yun lang. Salamat ha, kung uh, may cyber, cyber actions kayo nagagawin sa kanila. Cyber policy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, if I may just add, ito medyo mas minor naman, no? It's not really a crime. Kaya lang, um, ako kasi biker, I bike to work here, no? Uh, merong incident uh, last year that uh, two bikers were just resting dito sa Moa area where, where I also bike. Na uh, figure ng accident and did uh, fatal, no? Namatay yung dalawa. Mano rin, mga ano rin, Mr. Chair, um, involved yung mga... Um, Pogo, mga Pogo rin, no? yung Chinese na kasi they, they, uh, they come home late in this area sa entertainment city natin umaga-umaga uh, it, uh, it will cause ano, uh, kumbaga meron din ano, may danger din no? to cyclists, pedestrians um, mumuwi sila 4, 5 a.m. 6 a.m. minsan 6 a.m. Eh, yun lang, may the boot on record also that uh, it's not really crime related pero for the safety of uh, the people around also baka pwede rin, I don't know if how we can uh, also, uh, Pagkor probably can take it up to the ASPAP, no? Kasi baka mamaya, nagbabike-bike lang ako dyan. Masagasaan ako ng lasing na inchik dyan, di ba? Wow, baba. Wow, wala rin good. <laughs> but anyway, just related, no? Uh, it's minor, but 
At least, dalawa yung, ano, Mr. Chet, dalawa yung namatay na cyclists who were just resting on the sidewalks. no So, it can happen to anybody. And dami nagbabike dyan eh. Sa Moa, sometimes 500, 300s, by, especially on weekends. And uh, yung mga pedestrians also going to work. Yun lang doon. Sige, pa, pa, I hope that Pagor can take that also with the, with the legal pogos. Ano ang masasabi niyo mga kababayan tungkol sa isyong ito? Mag-comment lang po kayo at huwag kalimutang mag-like at i-share na rin ang aking video.